So today we're going to change the battery on our DX100. The battery that's in there, it's an internal battery, kind of like the battery that you see on your circuit board in a computer, except the battery in this one is soldered onto the circuit board. So you're going to have to take it apart, you're going to have to desolder the battery, and then install the new battery. Um, some of the things we're going to need to do that are you're going to need solder, soldering iron, then you're going to need your bulb for the desoldering. Take the solder off the board. And we use this for taking all the screws out of the boards and the back of the keyboard. And this just this helps out. You're going to take your uh, battery out of the board. And you're going to need your multimeter to test the battery and see what the voltage is on the one that's in there. You don't really need it, but you know it'll help to check the battery, see how bad it is. So the first thing you want to do with your keyboard, if you have any sounds that are in there that you want to save, um, you're, going, you're going to want to back those up. You're going to want to put them on some other kind of storage device or, or whatever, because once you take that battery out, you're going to lose all the memory, and you're going to lose all your sounds that you had saved on there. Because the only thing that you're going to have in there is the internal sounds that you'll reset once you put the new battery in. So. It's a job you can do yourself um, if you know how to solder and you got a little bit of skill with that then you should have no problem doing this job. So let me show you what we got to do first. We're going to take the screws out of the back of the keyboard. So you're going to have 12 screws that you're going to want to take out of the back of the DX100 keyboard right here. So the procedure is going to be fairly similar, similar if you're going to change a battery in a DX27 or a DX21, um, it's just the location of the screws, the location of the board, but the battery, the procedure to change the internal battery is going to be the same. You know, you're still going to have to desolder it, and I think it's a similar battery, a 2032, that has the solder legs on it. So, we're going to take all these screws out right here, and then we're going to take the back of the board off, take the back of the keyboard off. good thing to do when you take all the screws out is to put them in a position where they were before because you might have a screw that's longer and you want to make sure that the screw they're going to be in the same positions that you, you took them out you're going to put them back in. These screws are probably all going to be the same little short screws so like I said you got to take all the ones around the perimeter and then you got to take two in the middle and that'll take the whole back of the keyboard off that's all you have to do Okay, so we took all the screws out and the two screws right here in the middle. And to take the back off, it's a lot easier if you just take the battery cover off because then you can lift the whole cover right off. It's easier to grab because there's nothing really to grab on the side. So take the battery cover off, then you can pull the whole back off. So just lean it like this. Don't pull too hard because you got wires here and these actually go to your battery compartment where you're going to put the other batteries in it. So just lean it against uh, something. Okay, so here we are. We're inside the DX100. You're actually going to have to take off screws all in the back here to get to the other side of the circuit board. So we're going to flip it around so you can take the screws off the back of the circuit board. You don't want to disconnect any wires. You can leave the wires hanging on it. So. Like I said, the next step is to take all the screws off the back of the circuit board to get to the battery on the other side. There's one more thing I want to show you before you end up taking the board off for no reason. Maybe you're having some other problem with your board and it's not the battery. One quick test that you can do if you have a multimeter, you set it to the battery test. And our battery on the DX100 is the circle right here. So before you take the board out, you can check the battery inside the board. This battery is a 2032, it should be 3 volts. So anything less than 3 volts, you're probably having a problem with your keyboard and your internal memory. So you see two little solder leads on the back of this circle, that's the battery. You can test it just like this. Show you. The battery is supposed to be 3 volts, we're only 2.1. 
So this battery definitely needs to be changed. The thing is, these batteries are from, the keyboard is from 1986. If that's an original battery, it's like a 25-year-old battery, so it's going to need to be changed sooner or later. And most of these DX keyboards, they're getting to that age where the batteries are starting to fail on them. So, like I said, just test it. Get your reading. You know that battery is bad, so we're having a memory problem. So we're going to have to take that out, solder a new one in. If you want to totally move your back of the keyboard away, you can disconnect it right here. These wires, they connect to the battery compartment on the back of the cover. So if you want to get that out of the way, just squeeze these two things, pull that apart. So now you can take the whole, can, the whole back of the keyboard, you can move that out of the way. So you can get your next step, taking the circuit board off. So the next step when you're removing the circuit board to get to the battery, you're going to have 12 screws to take off the circuit board. All these guys right in the back, you see them here. Those all have to come out right here. You got one in the middle. Go to the other side here. You got these here. Make sure when you're taking them out, you put them in a position where you're going to remember exactly where they go because some screws might be longer. You know, so if you put a longer screw in where a short screw should have been, you're going to have a problem. So just make sure you just set the screws in the exact position that you had them. So when you take the board out, you put it back in you're going to be able to put them back in the same position because we need to get to the battery right here that's going to be on the other side so okay so start taking all your screws out put them in the position where you remember where they were and you'll be able to get to that so you're not going to have to remove any cables or anything like that so you're just going to want to get to the other side of the board so you can do your soldering so I've taken all the screws out of the circuit board and like I said put them in the position that they were in before like this guy right here he's in the center because they are different sizes so you're going to want to remember where all those screws went and if you just take them out and put them in a big pile you're going to have a problem later on because they're not going to go in the right position so real real important make make sure all those screws are exactly where they were in the board before so you get one on the side here here, just set them like this. Real easy way to do it, just set them along, this, along the keyboard like this, right in front of the positions where they were. So, like I said, the board will come out, and then you're going to have your battery is right there underneath. And, like I said, you really shouldn't have to con disconnect any of those cables. You know, you don't want to get into any more than you have to. So, like I said, we're just going to desolder that battery take it out and get ourselves a new battery and put it in so you have to desolder these two positions right here and we're gonna do that right now and another real important thing you want to make sure that you put the battery in the same way that it was before so make sure you keep an eye when you're taking the battery out exactly where those pins were so you don't put it in the reverse position you want positive and negative the exactly the same way that they were in the circuit board and you're gonna put it back exactly the same way so make yourself a little picture or write it down or whatever whatever you have to do to make sure that you put the battery in the same way that you took it out so here's our battery that we took out of the keyboard and it's a 2032 with the solder leads attached so that's the same kind of battery that you're gonna to have to get give you a close-up look of it look at it so you know what it is and there's your two soldering points right there and right there that's where you're gonna re-solder it so we got our new battery here getting ready to put it in so basically you're gonna have to slide it back into the two holes that are on the board the exact same way that it came out and solder it in So I put the battery in from the underside of the circuit board and you can see the two solder leads are through the board and actually the battery will stay in by itself so now all you have to do is re-solder those leads back into the board. 
So we got our battery re-soldered back in. So the only thing we have to do now is put the board back together and we had to reset all the sounds that are in the board. So I'll show you how to do that now. So to reset the sounds on the DX100, it's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is hit the one and the two button, hold them down, turn the power on, and you're gonna get the date and then the display is going to say test entry and all you do is press no and your internal sounds are all reset that's all you have to do press one and two hold them down turn the on you'll get the date you will get the version of the software that's on there and that's about it so you'll have all fresh sounds again so now you have a brand new battery in your DX100 and doing it yourself you probably saved yourself a little bit of money so that's about it.